So today we're going to talk about belt accessories. Well, accessories for your firearm that go, can go on your belt. I'm going to talk about the Wilder Tactical uh, multiple holster platform. This bad boy right here. As many people know, I've been using the Safari Land Cantable belt loop adapter. It's nice. It just feels like it sticks out a little bit more and it kind of, I don't know, feels, um, gets really uncomfortable after a while. I've tried the True North modular holster adapter and for a two inch belt and um, it's okay. It's 80 bucks through through True North and I got an optical planet for 73. I even got the, uh, the leg strap, which was like an, like thirty dollars, so this is like forty dollars if you go go through the uh, True North Concepts. Never used it. I also have another one of these on my range belt in tan, but it's it's metal. It's okay. I these parts right here got kind of uncomfortable after a while. You know, depending on how long you're wearing it. So I was looking for something a little different. Um, I do like the mid-ride. That's just kind of how I roll in life. Mid-ride works best for me. And uh, I kept running across uh, the Water Tactical website. I also have bought things from Water Tactical, like their Cobra Clutch. This is something you can hang your Cobra buck belts on. Works really great. I have one for each of my belts. I have several of these. So the the company is not a stranger to me. They also sell uh, belts and accessories, but this is what I want to talk about. The multiple holster platform. This is one of those things where I've kind of seen it online, kind of seen it through their website, and uh, I, I really like this. This is something to talk about. So let's, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna talk about it. So there's, they have different concepts of it. It's, uh, I bought the, the $50 one with the leg strap and the uh, we're going to get into that later in the video but I kind of wanted to go over it top to bottom and what it looks like what it you know looks like on the belt I'll probably be rolling some b-roll fo footage throughout the video if I haven't already so let's get to the straps right first of all these are really so these here you just unscrew and screw on and you just kind of slide it onto your belt and they're really thin and really, really comfortable. You can get the attachments in two different sizes, UAB clips, which is uh, like for one and a half to one in 75.75, one and a quarter inch belts. Then you get them in, this is the duty version, which is uh, for two inch and two and a quarter inch belts. So I got the duty version right here. And these are pretty, th these are pretty thick. So, I mean, they're comfortable. They're not thick, thick, like, like these, they're actually a lot thinner and it's just a lot more comfortable. And once you tighten these down, it doesn't go anywhere. So depending on what model you get, you'll get the QLOS adapter. Um, I got the, the modular platform with the QLOS adapter and the leg strap. We'll get to the leg strap in a minute. It comes in two ride heights. It comes in a mid ride and a low ride. So these here are for the Safari Land, these big ones here. And these right here are actually for the Blackhawk and Alien Gear holsters. So you can run, you know, now Blackhawk and Safari Land holsters on this, which is kind of cool. They kind of thought of everything, but it comes in a mid ride, uh, mid ride, and it also comes with spacers. There's, I don't know if you can see this in there, but there's already a spacer, a small little spacer in there, and you, they come with two more, uh, a medium and a large spacer, which go right in between these two, and. It, I, I don't plan on changing it out, but you know, if you don't like it where it's at, you can change it out a little bit more. The adjustment is pretty simple. All you have to do is loosen up the screws. I would get a, uh, 
a regular flathead screwdriver for this side. And it's very simple to do. I was able to get it to where uh, I was able to get to um, I was able to get to somewhat neutral or a neutral cant, maybe a little bit more of a negative cant on my holster. So I do have the tourniquet attached to the holster. But yeah, so this is what it kind of looks like with at the uh, medium right height or mid right height. It also has these two screws here, which is for the leg strap. Now, this leg strap is pretty, I think it's thinking outside the box. Um, you can run it here this high, or this height, or this height. I just kind of run it here. And you can run two different types of leg straps. They have two leg straps. They come with their own leg straps. They have three you can pick all together. You get the one with the plastic buckle. You get one with a cobra buckle, so you can look tactical on the range. Or you can get the elastic, uh, their elastic strap with, with a plastic buckle on it. Basically, it's a little bigger. I think this is like one inch. So it's about a one inch, less than a one inch strap, leg strap, and you could just run it through these holes. They give you plenty of adjustment for it. Or if you get the bigger one, you can run it through, through the bigger holes, or you can run your Safari Land strap. This is my Safari Land strap. I've had, I have a couple of them. So if I decide to change and want something a little bit more tight, with a little bit more stretch to it, I'm gonna use this. But yeah, you can run your Safari Land strap through here and through here. And then if you don't need it, you just take it off. I'm gonna put this on and show you what I'm talking about. So this moves pretty well. Um, on there, you just take a screwdriver and tighten it on. And it moves really well with you. Uh, I was using a universal belt loop adapter. I was using the low ride. I just wanted to try it out uh, for, for a little bit with the leg strap. And it just felt like it would move my belt every time I had this on, through, going through here. It just felt like it would just move my belt every time, just shift my belt a little bit. Didn't really like it that much. But this moves with you, and there's gonna be some beautiful B-roll footage coming in of this moving. Uh, to put the leg strap on, it's really simple to do. You know, so you just slide it through here, all the way through, like so, run it around here it's pretty simple it's it's pretty easy to do um, right through here through there there then to put the excess through here And that's it, you know. It doesn't have any, the, the, the small ones don't have any stretch to them. Once they're on there, they're, it, it kind of can, if you're not used to it, it feels kind of restricting at first. Um, the, only, the only other thing, there's branding on it. So you could either try to take it off or turn it upside down. If your department doesn't allow you to have branding on there. Uh, my department hasn't said anything yet uh, and nobody's really noticed. Or you can just stick it through, through there, and just have the flag showing. Uh, so there's different ways to do it. Again, if you have several Safari Land leg straps, you can always use the use the Safari Land leg strap. But as for now, I'm going to keep it here. Now you're probably wondering, well, that's great. I'm I'm going to put it on my basket weave belt. Does it fit on a duty belt? Yes. I'll roll in the footage of. Of, of you of me with with my Bianchi belt on here and it works just fine uh, you could also take this off if you want and just use it as a regular um, you don't have to use a leg strap at all you can take this off uh, one 
you know, the can's pretty, it's not that bad with the can. Actually, it's pretty good with the can. If you don't want to run it with a leg strap, you don't need to have it run with a leg strap. Uh, you just can take this off. Or what I do, what I did is just go ahead and take the leg strap, strap off and just run it this way. It's going to move with you if you have your firearm in there. It will move with you. And if it gets caught up and doesn't move, I don't think anyone's really going to pay it that much attention to it. It's pretty comfortable. It's it's kind of a flexible plastic. It does have kind of a drop and offset. It's not that bad. I think it's, it's I think it, the drop and offset is more suited to run with the leg strap mount. You could run without it. It's really not that bad. It actually sticks, it, it fits pretty well on there. Put some footage in here with um, the drop and offset without without this. And if you're wearing like a, a basket weave belt and you have to wear class A's and you don't have a, a belt just for class A's, you take the leg strap, strap off and it's really simple to do. It's pretty easy. Just leave this here on here. I don't think anyone's gonna notice that your this is on here in your class A's. Nobody noticed it when I was wearing it without the without the leg strap. The leg strap, I kind of like this this whole system where it moves. Uh, again, every time you know you could be sitting down in the car, sitting down at, at your desk, you know, doing walking around, and this one this is pretty solid on the belt. And two, the the leg strap just moves with you. I actually kind of like that. Um, again, I'm not a big leg strap person it just feels like if you walk your whole belt moves but with this you know my belt doesn't feel like it's moving it stays where everything stays in place and this this just moves really well I really like it and uh, this is what I've been running for the last couple of weeks last month is the wider tactical uh, multi holster platform and I really do like it. This platform right here all together ran me about $50. Uh, and it comes in three different colors. It comes with uh, black, uh, ranger green, and flat dark earth. And you can get the leg straps. You can get almost in any, any color you want. Black, gray, tan, multicam, multicam white, orange, ranger green and uh, woodland camo so get wherever you want you can get with a cobra buckle and uh, I'll probably end up getting getting another one getting actually maybe two more one for my dress belt and one for my uh, range belt I'll get that with the cobra buckle so I could be tactical on the range uh, but yeah uh, I really like this product I, I the more I use it the more I I like the way they're thinking outside the box here, uh, not only can you run a low, you know, mid ride, which I just feel like faster out of the holster with, but you can also uh, run different holsters. So if I'm running a Blackhawk or a uh, Alien Gear holster, it has that the slots for those. Uh, you can fit it onto a duty belt, a full size duty belt, two inch duty belt, and then you can get attachments for for uh you know a regular battle belt or range belt the leg strap just works just moves with you and it works great i really like it anyways um i this is one of these things i really highly recommend uh if you're tired of the safari land uh cannibal belt loop adapter i really like this but i just feel it also sticks out way too far and when i went from this to this it just felt like just huge on my hip. When I went from, from this to this, it just felt really good. It felt really comfortable. These here are really thin. Didn't have, you know, didn't have any issues with it. Where these two, it just felt like it was just hugging my hip or putting pressure on my hip. With this, I don't have any issues. And if you're running a molly belt and you're allowed to run a molly belt, you can slip this through the molly and tighten it down and you're good to go. So anyways, that's my review of the Wilder Tactical. Like I said, I plan on getting two more of them, one for my range belt and one for my uh, other duty belt because I, I really like this system. And uh, anyways, just thought, just something cool that I've, I've come across 
last month or so I've been using and I, I really like it and uh, gives you options and options, which is nice, you know? So if you don't like the leg strap and you wanna use this Fireland leg strap, you can use that. If you don't wanna use the leg strap, you can just take it off. Or if you just don't want the whole thing, you just take the whole thing off. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. Anyways, be safe out there and uh, take care. I'll see you in the next one.